Want to know what a high value man is and what it takes to become one? Stay tuned for another episode of Gunna, 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 Gunna Speaks Swagcast. Let me tell you why I'm legend here, right in the present. This is my confession. Please stop the guessing. They peek through my window while I was stressing. They bought swag for me, it's clear. Without a question, this is why I'm legend. Well, let me tell you why I'm legend. Well, let me tell you why I'm legend, 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 legend. Hey, what's up, y'all? What's up, what's up, what's up? I'm your host back with another one. L to the... Gonna uh, 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 know the vibes. Gonna speak swag cash. Gonna speak swag cash. Know what I mean? Tune in, tune in, tune in. Everybody tune the hell in, man. I mean... Yo, watch the intro. Y'all already know what the discussion is, man. We talking about high value men today. We talking about high value men today, man. We gonna get some big pimping from the man himself, the Godfather himself. Know what I'm saying? Kevin Samuels always got a good jeweler drop on the men. You know what I'm saying? Also for the female, for the females. Excuse me. You know what I mean? So he be he be giving a dose of a little bit of a little bit to everybody. You know? It's up to you to take the pimping, baby. You got to understand the pimping, baby. Nah, but to all the men out there, man, if y'all seriously want to become better individuals and better men, you know, be more quality, qualified men. You know what I'm saying? In your life. I think what Kevin Samuels is saying is very helpful and should be added to the arsenal. I mean, take it from a pimp, man. I've been big pimping, man. Y'all know this vibe, man. Y'all know the bot B. Y'all know the bot, man. Don't act like you don't know the bop, man. Know what I mean? So if you know my bop, and you know I'm on this high value shit, you know what I'm saying? You know I'm on this level up shit, you know what I'm saying? You on this level up shit, you know what I'm saying? Tune in. Tune in right now. About to tune in, man. Lock into this Kevin Samuels, man. And then we gonna, you know, do what we normally do. Talk about it. Bang. Because in order to be a high value man, you must exercise sexual discipline shout out to minister jab he calls it dick discipline sexual discipline sexual discipline is the one is one of the most critical areas to where men who could be high value have ruined themselves what does that mean uh sexual discipline you got kids everywhere one two three four five kids by four women you're not high value because you lack sexual discipline Oh, we're going there tonight. That's why I say people who are music, uh, athletics, or entertainment are not at automatically put in a high value care, a category because their money comes differently. Number one and number two, because star because so many of them tend to lack sexual discipline. Meaning, shout out to my, my shout out to uh, young lion Ramil Amir. Less than 10% of your time needs to be devoted to dealing with women when you're a single man. You need to be spending 90, 95% or more of your time or 93% or more of your time on your purpose. 7% for women. But see, far too many guys out there be like, man, I wish I could be doing what you do, man. If I was in the letter and doing what you do, I'd be cutting and do, I'd be doing it. And that's why you're never going to be nothing, never going to go nowhere. Because how much is enough? sexual discipline see that's why they can't that's why they keep coming to me you're gay you're gay you're this you're that because you can't sit there and pin a scandal on me because what i do in my private life the women i deal with you never gonna see splattered all over the place because i have discipline and in order to go into high value status and high value men seeing you as a peer that is one of the two things they look at they look at your network or your ability to network and your ability to do keep um favors and secrets and are you a disciplined man men who are undisciplined who are reckless are bad for business let me explain you might be a high value man okay you may have all these things but if you out here cheating on your wife and you're breaking the rules you're doing it you're leaving behind uh bad publicity for your marriage your, your no no outside babies no stds no public embarrassments no putting the family or no putting the family brand at risk. Those are four primary things. But if you as a man are out here undisciplined, 
hitting chicks in the parking lot, doing all kind of stuff. I don't care if you got a billion dollars, you're not high value. Because if you can't control your Johnson, you can't control my network. See, high value men look at other men who are potentially high value because you don't start out that way. You become high value. You're not born into high value. You must make yourself high value. It is a one man at a time thing. And it's like a group, a fraternity. And we sit back and say, all right, when I'm working with this guy, can he control his appetites? Discipline in all things, moderation, drinking, whatever your uh, particular vice is, gambling, uh, smoking, whatever. But the main thing is sexual discipline. And this is one thing that gets brothers too quick. You're, you're out there slinging your Johnson too much. Put it up and get to French toast work. See, when I said high value men cheat, I think a lot of women just said just because you got money, that's a license to cheat. No, it's not. It's a license to get you to stay competitive for your man. We got shit to do. All right. So four points to remember in the video. Four points to remember. Having discipline. A.K.A. Dick discipline. Or sexual discipline. You know? Because that's a that's a one that's one of the the, uh, the vices that men have. We have a tendency to want more than we could chew off. You know what I'm saying? More than we can chew. You understand? We bite off more than we can chew with the women and, and want to be a player and doing all this type of stuff. But in the business world, in the high value world, when you're trying to become a greater self, a greater you, you know, um, level up. When you're starting to open up. Uh, business and, and you're working in the business field and you're around business people and, and business arrangements and, and, and different circumstances like this, right? With other people that's high value and worth a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? With a lot to lose, a lot of cost involved in this, right? So the sexual discipline, you know, is it, very important. You know what I mean? It, that's one of the four uh, points that we need to, to just touch on and definitely Add that to the catalog because that's Big Pimpin' 101. You know what I mean? Take it from Big Pimpin', you heard? Now, I'm just kidding on the Big Pimpin' thing, but this is very, very important, man. So, y'all, scribble that down. Scribble that down. Um, point number two. Point two, point two, point two. Dedicate 95% of your time to business and to your purpose. You know what I mean? Dedicating your time to your purpose. Majority of your time should go to your purpose, and the other portion of that time can be dispersed to the women in your life, or however you do that. But, again, we want to lessen the sexual desires, you know, the sexual gratifications, and we want to get more to the business and the accolades and, and the purpose, and, and what makes you the greater you, you know? And ultimately, when we do apply these things to ourselves, we become, we, we become a better person, we become a better us, a greater force in the world, and we become the magnet for the women because we become those men that the women do desire, ultimately. That was point number two. Point number three. Point number three. Self-discipline. Self-discipline could be anything. I mean, if you drink too much Kool-Aid, man, I think you should just lighten up on the Kool-Aid. If you smoke too much weed, maybe you could lighten up on the weed intake. If you smoke too many cigarettes, you could lighten up on that. If you drink too much, you could lighten up on that. You know what I mean? If you're loosey-goosey, you like to gamble, you want to go splurge at the club and all that, pop bottles every weekend, you could lighten up on that. You know? Self-discipline. Understanding your money, where your money is, where you want your money to be. You know, where you currently are in your life and making the proper investments and not being so so extravagant in terms of, you know, loosey goosey with the monies and 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 your your uh, your options and your opportunities. Not just, you know, um, doing away with opportunities, actually maximizing on the opportunities, you know? Self discipline. Sticking to the course. Sticking to the purpose. Becoming a greater you and sticking to that at all means. By any means. You know? So Point number three, self-discipline. 
Very, very, very important. Jot that down, fellas and ladies. This is this goes for fellas and ladies. You know? But I'm talking generally to the fellas, you know? We try to become high value men. The men want to teach the boys how to become high value boys and how eventually high value men. So we have to get this information up that we could toss it down backwards, you know, to the men. So that was point three. Point four is just a, a variation or a, a conclusion summary to, to the, the first three points. And that's basically just having the less desire sexually, right? So you have more time to focus on your purpose and which creates more self-discipline. Ultimately, that unravels the idea of bad discipline because bad discipline, which is the fourth point, you want to you want to add those three points so you could refrain from the fourth one, which is bad discipline, because ultimately bad discipline is causes chaos in your life that stirs up the pot, that takes away your value, that lessens your value, that lessens the level of your value, that creates the a different illusion of who you are, even if you so much have the monetary benefits that might equate to a high value man. Just having some bad discipline areas which can uh, multiply into other negative aspects in your life is, you know, that creates a smoke cloud, a dark cloud over your head as that potential high value man. So in order to maintain your potential as that high value man, you have to have the first three points, you know, and you have to build your life, build a force field around your life and, and develop yourself with these points in mind. So, I just wanted to drop this video on y'all. I just think it's important for us men because a lot of times we don't get this type of information, you know, in our communities. We're not getting this from the men in our neighborhoods. They're not going to break it down the way we need to think about this stuff because if we can absolutely think about this, we can absolutely become these things. And then we can absolutely teach our sons how to become these things, you know? And it could just, it, it could rub off on everybody. It becomes a, you know, a chain reaction. You know, spread like wildfire. So this is the type of information I think is is useful, and I think it's very important that y'all jot it down. So I am your host, L to the mother Gunner. You know the vibes. You know what I mean. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Gunner Speaks, and continue to tune in. Continue to tune in. We got more. We're not stopping. This is just the beginning. You know what I mean? So to everybody out there who's following, hitting the like button, hitting the subscribe, hitting the notifications. You know what I'm saying? Big shout outs to y'all. Man, pat yourself on the back. You know what I mean? I hope y'all out there being inspired. I hope you want to be great. You know what I mean? And don't never let a hater stop what you got in mind. You know what I mean? This is what you tell them. Don't be a hater. Be greater. Do be that fake. CJ, best swagger names, best chase. Doses. On YouTube or whatever, go hit the subscribe button. Ain't no thing, just hit the button. Pow!